Hello YouTube, I'm back with another little video. Um, so, <laughs> I have no idea where we're going with this video. I don't even know what the title's gonna be. Um, I just was worshiping with Jesus and he shared something with me and then he's like, I just, he's like, I want you to share what I just like said to you. So I'm going to, um, but in full disclosure, the past few days have been interesting in my life. Very interesting. Um, and the Holy Spirit asked me to do some hard things and I understand, I'm understanding more why he asked me to do those harder things. Um, but they were still hard nonetheless and I'm still processing the things and just giving it to God and my concerns and my emotions and stuff to God and it's been challenging um life sometimes is challenging um but anyway today my mom knowing just like she knows what I'm going through and she said this morning she was reading in Isaiah 26 and there's a few verses that stood out to her for me. And this one right here, Isaiah 26, verse, I think that's a nine. <laughs> it's a nine. It says, my soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. And I just thought about that today. And I was like, you know, how many times in our lives, especially I'm just going to say in my life, do I long for and yearn for Jesus? Like, I have to be honest, sometimes I take my relationship with Jesus for granted. Like, me personally. Because I get so many letters from the Lord. He's so close to me all the time. And it feels normal. And whenever it starts to feel normal, I'm like, I need a reality check. I'm like, that's not normal. That's a gift. That that's 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 beautiful, you know. And I often need those reality checks because it's just normal for me. Since twenty fifteen, it's been kind of my life. But I never. I always say to God, I'm like, I never want that to be normal. I never want that just to be like, yeah, you know, what is what it is. The Holy Spirit speaks to me about stuff. Like, I literally went to Him today because I had stuff on my heart, and He answered me. Like, like that. That should never, that's not, that's, that's just, praise God. Like, I'm humbled by that, like, more and more every single day. But this concept, my soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. That is so powerful. And I can honestly say that I think in my life, um, I don't think I know there was just some connections in my life that I was depending on more than I was depending on Jesus. Um, and it was a lesson in my life to learn, um, and mature through, but the Holy Spirit asked me to put some boundaries in place the past few days. And it was so challenging, but I see the fruit of it in my heart and in my mind because I hesitated sharing this. Because I'm like, oh, like, if these people watch my stuff, like, what are they going to think? Like, they might not agree with my decisions and they might not even think the Holy Spirit wanted me to do what he told me to do. And I was just getting so consumed in my mind with, like, people and their opinions. And, and reading this verse, it really convicted me. And then I started to just worship. And honestly, I was in a time of stress because I've been feeling stressed with everything the past few days and just like really processing things and just being like, God, like I, you know, he's been revealing stuff to me. And I'm like, wow, it's heavy for my heart. It's heavy for my heart. And I was stressed, honestly stressed. And the Holy Spirit said, Ezra Lee, he's like, you're in your head again. And whenever he says you're in your head again, I know it's an invitation to be actually in his heart. Like he's like, get out of your head and get into my heart for you and for the situation. So I just need to worship. And I was just worshiping out. I was worshiping out. And before that, he says, let the stress out and give it to me. And that's what I've been just trying to do. I'm like, I'm laying it out on the table. I'm like, Lord. And so I'm worshiping and I'm worshiping. And I just reached this point where I was like, Lord, this is about you. My life is about you. It's not about them. It's not about situations. It's not about people's opinions. It's about you. And I often, I need that like check because especially when you do online ministry and when you're somebody who, 
you just love people so deeply. Like I love people so deeply that I, I love people so deeply to the point where I follow through even with tough things. Because I know if the Lord tells me what's best in a situation, even if I don't understand and it's hard for me, I do it. No, like barely any questions asked. Mine is just a few like, hey, are you sure you want me to do this, God? And if he confirms it, I'm like, bam. Because I love people so deeply. And I for, I love people so deeply because I love Jesus above them. And that's what I try to do. You know, the past few years, I've been really trying to do that. I Sometimes I fail. Sometimes I succeed. It's just part of being human. But I'm really trying to get like so resolute in that. That I'm like, no, it's it's about Jesus. If, if in my heart of hearts, I'm depending or other people are depending on me. Or I'm depending on them more than I'm depending on Jesus in any way. That's like a, ooh, we need to check that. And the Lord will sometimes get us to check ourselves and be like, wait, do you long? Like literally asking yourself this. Does your soul yearn for God in the night? And in the morning, does your spirit long for him? Because, you know, we, us humans, we're thinking, oh, I can't wait for, for this. I can't wait for that. Oh, I can't wait for tomorrow when I do this. Or, oh, at night, I just really wish I could have. Or, I really want. You know those things you're like, I really want this. I really need this. Like, I wish I could have this. I want this. With that same yearning, do we yearn for Jesus? And that's what I've been really convicted with today. And I honestly think it's just part of my journey with the Lord of him being like, long for me, like, like, want more of me, don't get content with what you have, don't be like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, no, be like, I want more, and you know, I say that, and I genuinely do believe, I'm like, every single day, I'm like, I want more of you, God, but then it starts, when you get to that next level of maturity with the Lord, you just keep growing, and growing, and growing, you start to go like, man, I just like, I need more of you, God, I need you, and I need to give my stresses to you, I need to, it's all about you, and I got to this point where the Lord was like, I want you to share and, and just get on and do a video. And I was literally so scared to remotely share about me right now because of the situations that I'm going through. And I was like, God, like, what if they, what if this, what if that? And the Lord's like, stop. He's like, stop thinking of the other people. He's like, if I, and he literally said to me, he's like, Ezra Lee, he's like, I'm pleased with you. He's like, that's what matters. And I was like, whoa. I was like, true God, and I needed that. Like, it sounds so simple, but I needed that reminder. That if he is pleased with me, that's what matters. If he is pleased with you, that is what matters. That is what matters. That is what, that's what matters. And even if you don't have understanding, even if other people don't have understanding, understanding is not to be our idol. It's not to be our God. We don't need to explain. We don't need to understand everything all the time. Sometimes we just need to not understand fully and trust the Lord. That's faith. Sometimes we just don't need to know everything. And that's so hard. The amount of times when you, when I've done online ministry for the past little bit, I've noticed that people want an explanation. Like, I'm even when I call myself, I'm a Jesus follower, not a Christian. The amount of people that are like, explain, explain, explain. And it's like, I don't need to explain that unless the Lord asks me to. Because if you have the Holy Spirit, you'll understand why. You'll just read it and you're like, I understand. If not, you'll wrestle with it and bring it back to God. Or you'll just be like, I don't care. That's wrong. And then you do your thing. But we don't always, our, our idol is understanding, human understanding. Our idol is I need to know. Our idol is I need to know. And then we think that we know, but we didn't even check with God's heart. We just checked with our own thoughts and our own minds. And we didn't check with God's heart. We were stuck in our heads and not in our heart and not even our own hearts. Sometimes you're stuck in your feelings or sometimes you're stuck in your head, depending on who you are. But I just, I had this moment where everything in me settled because I focused on God's heart and not my worries. I focused on God and not my concerns. I focused on God and not what I was going through. There's a time for everything. And I do believe it's important to process things and don't, do not suppress things. Like let those waves of emotions out and be real. Like I'm all for that. I'm all for that. But especially you can see the morning that I had, I'm all for that. The waves of the emotions, they come and they go and it's good to process that. But then it comes to a time where you don't need to just like process things. You need to worship Jesus. You need to worship Jesus and be like, okay, mm, I don't know. I'm going to worship Jesus. You don't, the Holy Spirit's just reminding me for so many of you, you don't need to pray more. You don't need to fast more. You need to worship Jesus more. Think about that. Yes, some of you, God might be asking you to fast. Some of you, God might be saying, hey, pray more about this. Have that in your life as the Lord tells you to. That's great. But for some of you, 
You just need to worship Jesus for who he is and recognize who he is so your heart doesn't start going into an idolatry place and in a place where you're like, ooh, I'm going over the edge of I'm depending on this over God. That's something that every human being struggles with. Every human being has to be vigilant to keep Jesus like their first focus. And it was just that wording. My soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. Yearns and longs are not like, hey God, I'm so glad you're in my life. Yearning, longing is like, I need you. I can't not have more of you, Jesus. I need you. The same way that you're thinking of what's that thing you want the most. Think about it right now. That thing you're like, man, I wish I could just have. With the same energy you think about that thing, think about Jesus. That's convicting. That is so convicting right there. If that doesn't convict you, that convicts me. I'm like, oh my goodness. Thank you, Jesus, for just putting this on my heart because it's so true. If you're longing and yearning and being like, you go, you wake up in the morning, you're like, this is all you can think of. You go to bed, this is all you can think of. If it's not Jesus, then there's something that's out of place. Not in a religious sense and not in this like weird sense, but genuinely, like if we're not longing for Jesus more and more every single day and yearning to have more of him and yearning to know more about who he is, then something is off. It's so, be like, Jesus is so beautiful. And so I just pray that this is a reminder for you that like, if Jesus is pleased with you, keep moving forward. I I just, I can't stress that enough. If he's pleased with you, keep moving forward in confidence. If your heart is pure and you're like, I'm just being obedient to share what God wants me to share and, and, and do what God wants me to do and people take offense or people get hurt with that, then that's their choice. And that's so hard to come to terms with because genuinely the, it's a choice to get hurt, it's a choice to be offended, and it's a choice as well to worry. It's a choice to to stay stressed. Even if we feel the worry and we feel the stress, it just was hitting me today. I'm like, I'm choosing to hold all this instead of giving it to Jesus. Like, I'm actively choosing to be stressed. I'm actively choosing to, like, be, like, blah, instead of be like, okay, God, just take it. I can't and I need you. Like, you know, I was choosing that I actively chose that. Yes, a feeling hit me, right? And I was like, oh man, I feel like, and I'm thinking all these thoughts, right? But I have a choice to take every thought captive. I have a choice. I have the responsibility and I need to take accountability of that. And so do you. That like, it's not just about, okay, God, why don't you do the things? God, you need to do things. Well, what are you doing and what are you choosing with the free will that you have with the mind that you have with the time that you have with the emotions that you're given what are you choosing to fixate on and what are you choosing are you choosing to be offended are you choosing to be worried are you choosing to fear are you choosing to be stressed are you choosing it because I've had many times in my life where I give people a solution and I'm like hey this is really what I, the Lord's putting on my heart this is what I see if you just implement this one thing in your life this has been since like high school I've been doing this when people like vent to me and they go yeah mm, but they'd rather just complain instead of deal with it you know and so we have a we have a accountability we have a responsibility that if we're gonna be like I'm stressed uh, and especially for pro proclaiming to follow Jesus who do you serve Jesus or your emotions, Jesus, or your, your thoughts in your mind, Jesus, or your stress, Jesus, or that person's opinion of you, Jesus, or yourself, like who, who do you serve, and this has been so humbling for me, I'm not even, I mean, this is much of a word for me as it is for you, and honestly, like, if you, I just know some people needed this, and the Lord's like, I want you to just, to encourage my people, like, what do they long for, Ask them, what do they long for? What do they yearn for? What are they choosing to stress about? When Jesus is literally saying what he told to me, he wrote it, he wrote, he, through me, he gave it, to, and I wrote it down. He spoke to me and I wrote it down. He said, let the stress go and give it to me. So here I am thinking, like I was feeling like physically weird and like, I'll be, I'll be honest. Like I have like rosacea on my cheeks, like my cheeks get red. And so they were getting really like inflamed. I could feel it. It was like itchy and I'm like, oh, it's cause I was feeling stressed. I didn't realize how stressed I was feeling. Once I just like calmed down, worshipped, gave it to God, I could feel all the pressurization in my body, like just like the, you know, the hot in the face, right? Like it just started to go. And like, 
so I was venting to God. I'm like, I don't know. And I'm, I'm like, oh, and so he's like, you're good. You're great. Like, just give your stresses to me. You're holding them. I need you to give those to me. You're in your head. Oh my goodness. It scared me. I'm getting a phone call. Um, that literally scared me so much. <laughs> I was like in the zone. Um, that's my mother. Love her. She's so sweet. Um, anyways, um, that's just what was so heavy on my heart. I don't even remember what I was saying, but that was just so heavy on my heart that I was choosing to stress. I was choosing to worry. I was choosing when all I need to do is say, God, I don't know. Here it is. And I'm just going to worship you. And in that moment, I had so much freedom in that moment. I was just able to think clearly. And then the Lord was like, you know, give it to me. And he was just ministering to me. And then he was like, now I want you to share. And I want you to encourage other people with what I just taught you. So I pray that this encourages you that you really take an evaluation of your heart and of your mind and like ask yourself, just like Isaiah 26 verse 9 says, you know, my soul yearns for you in the night. In the morning, my spirit longs for you. What do you long for? What do you long for? And are you willing? And, and what do you, what changes do you want to see in your life? And are you willing to take accountability and responsibility for the very things that you want that you're saying, God, why don't you just do this? What if he's waiting for you to really get some things up here and get some things in here and really like put him first and worship him, worship Jesus. Like what if that's been the point this whole time? He doesn't want you to worship anything else other than him. So bring this back to him. I pray, bless you. Bless me. Like, pfft. this was like literally like the answer that I needed. And I'm like, thank you, God. Like, you're so good. He's just so good. The more you worship him, the more you realize how worthy of praise he is and how he has it. He has it all. You don't need to worry and stress. You can feel the emotions, but then you can let it go and then worship him instead of getting stuck in the hamster wheel of processing. Anyways, bless you guys in all the ways. This is everything that I have for you today. And I just thank you so much for listening.